another one. <laughs> I can't get enough of this challenge. The one by one and two by two challenge is just like... Hey, welcome in, Ferret. Yes, yeah, so this is no one by ones, no by two by twos. We're trying it with Tiny this time, and so far, uh, the love has. We've not been seeing the love. We want one of these two. I don't see a lot of difference. Hey, Scoundrel! Uh, there is a non cutoff version. YouTube doesn't recommend the right version to the right people, but follow that link and you will get the full the full deal. Vengeance Statue was really good for us last time, so we'll grab that. Alright, we'll toss in Scrap Tower. We're not going to use either of those. So let's see. So we can take Relic to Barracks to Dot to Alter to Relic to Shop. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. So we'll take the Relic first. Yeah, Scoundrel, YouTube is really pushing shorts right now, so it's why it's important for me to be doing it. Oh, good, we get to try this again. fan freaking tastic. all right. The slimes start over here, and they instantly die, so we don't have to worry too much about that. We want them to come in like this. So okay, so I want I want them to be aligned on this wall edge. And if they're aligned on this wall edge, then I think we have them come in like this. They can't come like that. This this corner is really kind of awful from a from an, a tetrising perspective. The, the current final boss getting a buff would be very exciting, Scoundrel. Hey, Ben, welcome on in. Hey, thank you. Trying, trying my best here. There's a, there's a lot of, there's a lot of building at the moment that is not, not going our way. So let's see. So if I do, I guess that. So the, the goal this time, or the, the plan, I should say this time is we're just gonna try very hard to utilize as many of our pieces as humanly possible. And I'm, I think this, this one here actually needs to be lengthened out. I'm leaving the, the treasure chests in case we take damage. I want to make sure that we're getting back health. That's the most important thing that we can pick up here. All right. That's, that's why we left them. No coins is a bummer here because the cards don't do us any good. Sadly. Uh, this, this great piece, though, is kind of interesting. So ultimately, I guess we really want you to go like this. Does that make sense? No, I, I think we were coming down this way. Yeah, and then back over this way.
So something like that is planned for down there. So if you're going to come in like this, we can at least do that to get you around the corner. Up here, we've done the best we can do. Can you, can I, I could use the dot piece, three of the dot pieces here to block that off. I don't know if that's what we need though. Maybe we start closing this off. All right, that was... I don't know that it matters actually which way those go. So I will I'll let that go like that and then maybe if we build this way we get them into the loop back. All right. All right, this is always the one that we kind of struggle on. Cuz we want like the thing about Demon Flame is it really sinks or swims based on the the fodder enemies that you encounter. Like, you want lots of slimes, lots of angry bees in the early game. And if you don't find them, you're going to have a bad time. Just, I think we're just dotting our way across here. All right, we don't quite make it. And then this side. Hey, Ben, thank you for the sub. Welcome in. All right, well, I think we're, we're doing relatively close to what we need to do. Not saying we're going to get there, but... Vengeance Tower, Vengeance did help us out insanely. Because it means we can survive the later waves, but we need to not take a lot of damage on the way to the later waves. And right now, they're kind of bearing down on us a little bit here. The, the difference that that makes is kind of miraculous, actually. I, I suspect, from what I've seen from the Discord, the next patch of this game is going to see... We're going to see some new towers. I'm not sure we're going to see new map. That's my, that's my suspicion. Okay, so I'm I'm looking at this and I'm like I'm not sure we could do we could have done significantly better on on this one. The maze is looking pretty good. Like the inside maze I think is about as good as we've done. I'm starting to set up this one for for a bit of extending of its own. We got two were beasts, so we know we're taking some damage. Because I don't I don't think there's any way we kill them. Our our demon flame is at ten damage right now. It's not terrible. So the problem the problem with wave delaying is, is it's incredibly block expensive. Like that's my that's my issue. Like we've talked a bit about it, but like 
it's really expensive delaying waves on this map. Like, I'm, I'm gonna try, trust me. Like, I, I have every intention of trying to push back. So everybody's coming this way, and then I guess that means that we should have been extending this, maybe? Like, these aren't... Oh, those are... Wow. Actually, okay, we, we just about hit the break point there. All right, well, we've done what we can. We should survive this regardless. It'd be great if you could force that gate uh, to go on the counterclockwise path. We had the ability to. I mean, I still can. I could actually, like, switch it up halfway through, I think. Oh, it's taking a lot longer to get this swapped over. I think it's not out of the question. Like, we're looking pretty good here. We might... We might be okay. If we handle this Broodmother well, we might actually not need to spend any more health. Yeah, we're at 19 damage right now. As a side note, I don't think we ever hit 19 damage in any of our previous attempts, which to me means that I do think that there was some wave balance changes in the last patch that have made this a little bit more spicy. Because 19 damage is a lot. Okay, we need a good tower. I don't think Poison Dripper is enough. You think I hit 20 damage once? All right, well, we'll try Thunder Tower again. We have to save for it, though. Uh, let's see. We took an Electric Tower, so let's take an Electric thing even though it's not necessarily what we're looking for. This is the maze content that I'm here for, Technic Goose. So glad to hear it. All right. This tower is just so freakishly expensive. Keep, t keep enemies at least three tiles away from the flame source. Uh, on a scale from one to things that are not happening, that's not happening. All right. Let's see. Ben, it's a low, it's a low bar that we've set here. Uh, okay, so what are we gonna do here? So if we come in like this and we hug all the way around the perimeter, We can't go any further than this. So that's our that's our best internal maze. Now, obviously, you know, we can like we we've done lots of stuff where we can like, you know, have the entrance come over here and go up like this and come back down around, etc. We'll figure out all that stuff as we go. But for the time being, We need to not spend money. And we need to get some 3 by 3s ready to go. Don't spend money. And then I spent money. All right, hopefully we aren't just off. <laughs> yeah, but let's see. We need to do... For now... I think we need to place this here. 
this here, and then we have we have a three by three opportunity here, I think. No, we don't. We're one corner piece short. So let's save our lightning dots. We'll close that up. Okay. Save money. All right. 124. We get a tower. All right. So you're saying there's a chance. Where do we build the tower? We're not taking... We're, we can take much better advantage of this space. Uh... Yeah, I'm not worried about the challenge. The That's the least of my concerns right now. I kind of feel like we put our tower right here. Because we can do like... This is not efficient tile use. Let the let the record show. But I do think I I made this too narrow for the plan that we had here. So all bets are off on that. Uh, hold down left control and then you can draw whatever you want. There you go. So again, we want to save. Now, what have we what have we done here? So now we have to I think we have to have him come in this way and loop around like this. Yeah, that's that's the new plan. What does it look like if I block this? That's not terrible. I don't think it's significantly better than what we have going on right now. Yeah, Tyler, you can find uh, you can find information about that stuff uh, down here. So, like the draw path icon here gives you the tooltip that explains that. But happy to help. Happy to help. So let's see. So, so next thing we want to do is set up where our next three by three is going to be. I might put one over here. Let's uh we should be okay. I think we'll we'll be able to do this one. The lightning tower is fine. <laughs> okay. Let's let's see what we can do here. Uh our, our path is going to get, a, our maze is going to get a little less. We do need space over here. So if we do, if we do stuff along this edge to build another one, we can't use frost runes. Do, we also have enough for two more of these. So we should, we should make two more of them. So what I'm thinking is, is we can put one on this corner here. I might, I might grab these. We don't have to leave these any longer. Uh, Coin Hunter could be good and speed up. So 
So yeah, so what I was thinking was we could do like... We can do a 3x3 three three here. Because we are going to be blocking this off. So we can do that. Put that like that. Was there... There's not really any way that I think we can get another... Another 3x3 three three spot out. I mean, I guess we could. If we don't care about boosting it at all... Yeah, let's let's do that. I think quantity of fire may be our may be our best friend here. Hey Dariak, welcome in. Having them, yes, target different mobs. I think that's very smart. Let's put you on highest HP, you on most progress, you on most progressed, and you on nearest. I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to tinker with that. That's I'm not convinced that's uh, that's perfect, but. Right now, right now, real estate is like one of the hardest things, I feel like. Like our maze is, is suffering greatly at the hands of of me just trying to make space for towers. We'll leave that one on most progressed. We'll do this one on highest HP again. one are you are you you're a high you're nearest i think nearest is a is a mistake so i'm gonna go highest hp and then i'm gonna overload most progressed here Quantity is the is qual is a quality itself. That is a that is a good one, Dariak, and I think that that's the one that we are uh, that we're going with right now. I think we're I think we're good. We might we might be able to eke back a little bit of recovery here. But again, I just placed a lot of pieces. Is there is there a world in which we can materialize another another spot here? Maybe here?
I do feel like we're neglecting May's building a little bit here. Which may come back to, to haunt us. But. The maze is not needed if you have thunder towers. Do we think that's actually true? Upgrades could be could be a thing. That's actually that's a really good use of money. Good call. Our demon flame is really not not doing the work that I want it to. Corn content. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. And at this point, I'm too afraid to ask. All right, so let's see. So upgrades, we generally think... Yeah, I, I like the red upgrade here. I think on all of them. And that gives us that gives us a little bit of space to I think at least work on the maze a little bit, which I think is absolutely worth the uh, the price of admission here. Oh, because the maze. Now I understand, and it's it's too good. Let's see. Are you you're on highest HP, so you get you get poison. You get poison. Put powerful shot here, but not yet. Put that there now. Still have overdrive in our hip pocket. Are you highest HP? I want I want most progressed. This one is a most progressed. Alright. So if we if we need it, we can we can pop overload on this one. Uh, this one's actually most progressed also. And there's stuff coming in right now, so I'm gonna do this. I think we'll be I think we'll be just fine. Thunderstruck, as it were. Does the blue upgrade set off the stuns from wolves? Uh the stuns are the stuns are based on, on damage dealt, right? Let's see. For this one, protection isn't that useful. I actually take that back. Protection is pretty bomb. Don't have to worry about wolf stuns. Uh, none of these are awkwardly shaped. None of these are awkwardly shaped. None of these are awkwardly shaped. Woo. Saved by the bell on that one. So we got poison drippers. Not sure I'm excited about poison drippers. If we get if we get a snare, that could be good. I'm gonna grab the altar. We're gonna do sacrificial pact for sure. I I mean it's okay. I'm not I'm not convinced it's it's game changingly good for us. But it might it might save off the beginning. We would need like we need a way to turn it into a snare. I feel like for it to really be good. Uh, I think I want to go to the shop, which means I think we do this relic into shop. All right. Okay. So this this one here. So the the trick here 
is these bridges are three wide, correct? Yeah, these bridges are three wide, which means what we really want to do is we probably want to take this thing along the outer edge, go all the way out like this. We can go all the way to here and then have them rejoin. We don't have the ability to do that, obviously. Especially since we need to make space for 3 by 3s Hmm. So because it's a 3 by 3 if this side goes over to here, or if this side goes over to here, the other can't be true. I do too, Dariak. I think it's I think it's very nicely designed. All right, so we're going to go... I think we'll do this. We'll go over here, but maybe we'll only go to, like, here. And then we'll have everybody come in like this. And then we're going to do some type of... Some type of something like this. And then in like that. There's not a lot of space for Thunder Towers. But, at like, we can build mostly up here, I think, if we're if we're careful. Is there any way I could have built this so that we could have gotten the poison benefit on on a poison dripper? Because right now I'm building pretty far away from stuff. This map is perfect for poison gates right at the start. We could... We could, uh, we could toss, we could toss one down here. I guess that, this, this doesn't have too much of an opportunity cost. I'm a little worried that it's going to slow us down getting to our Thunder Tower, but. So we get 75, which I think is an... Oh, oh, you only get 40 for that first one. All right, got it. Okay, so let's see. So... I think... We now, we've gotten far enough over here that I feel like if we block this. Yeah, we're not getting anything from over here. So really, the question is, how much do we think the Poison Dripper does against the Stinger Hornet? The Angry Bees all die. But are the Stinger Hornets going to be injured enough, or do we need to do one more over here? I think we can probably... I don't like using these lightnings, but I think... We can I'm trying to figure I'm trying to figure out a way to utilize the the poison rune in a way that it will get both in the future. But it doesn't look like I can do that right now. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off for a second. I wanna see how much work this does on the on the big the big ones. 
that's like half their life. I feel like I feel like our demon flame can't quite do that. All right, if we're if we're doing this, we got to be decisive so that. All right. Don't love that this isn't getting both, but. Because when this side starts uh, opening up, we've invested nothing over here, which is not great. Okay, we are at the point where we can get our first lightning tower. So we just put it up here, I think. Actually, I can still sell this for full sell price. Yeah, the Lightning Tower is pretty clutch. But it absolutely needs to deal with everything coming in from this side. Money and health is good. Health, I think, is the right decision here. I don't like that I have to d discard this, but I actually really like the poison rune there. Ooh, I can't put one there. Now, do I try to get... We are eventually going to try and get over here. But that's probably too ambitious right now. So I think I, I have enough tiles right now to build another one. Our Tome of the Endless is used up, so let's... Oh, that doesn't look great. It's going to be a while before we get down this bridge. We presume that the Hornet King is coming from over here. What's the range look like on this? That's enough coverage. Let's see. Let's see if we can eke this in here. All right. getting up there. Okay. I think I think if I hadn't popped that overload, I think we would have been in huge trouble. Yeah, we'll we'll eventually get there. Uh Okay, hold on. So you most... Okay, they're both going on most progress, so hopefully this guy just gets deleted. All right. Good. Yeah, I think we'll eventually get one down here, but... But the thing is, is up here, we're getting, we're getting a bit more value out of it. Um, 
these these two. They're overlapping. I wish there was a way to make them not hit the same one. But that's a whole different can of worms. Can you do 30 damage here? No, you can. Uh, oh, this is Demon Flame, so I should not have risked that, as a side note. That was very, that was very risky. Uh, I need some more maze building materials here for sure. We squeeze this in and get double value. Doesn't look like it. This looks like it should not be Land's Edge. Um, hold on, though. If I do that, and then I do... It still didn't, still didn't work. <laughs> Best laid plans. Yeah, in fact, that didn't work at all, did it? We can put one there. Right, and I do need to use up some of these cards. I needed to clear up some space. That was all the that was all that I was intending to do there. It's just my my hand got full at, at one point there, which was not great for business. I overload overwrites coin hunter uh hey Cal. So unfortunately you can't have both. I've made that mistake one too many times, unfortunately. Check my phone really quickly here. All right. Okay, let's see. So we do we do that. Let's see. We could we could take advantage of this range boost tile if we so desired. I think I'm gonna do that. For upgrades, we'll definitely do that. Hit monsters, energy charging effects are instantly maxed out and triggered. Doesn't really doesn't really do anything. Maybe I'll do one just to see. I wish I could see the difference in performance of various turrets. Um I think. I'm also going to get rid of that. Because I, I don't think it's doing much good. And I think we can we can do another early poison dripper here. The advantage being that if it takes out the little stuff, then we have our, our thunder turrets are going to do more. I think this is when we have to drop this because the brood mother kind of snuck in there and we need to get this one should be on highest HP.
Because we want to make sure that this broodmother dies as early as possible. I think we're good. Yeah, a way to cause your your lightning towers not to all hit at the same time would be really good. Yes, I would agree. I think the blue upgrade is, is great if you have the right relics, Technic Goose, but we do not have the right relics. Golden Roulette feels like a spicy, a spicy choice. No. Hmm. Decimate feels like it fits much better, but we have no poison synergy. The drippers don't get a lot more damage, Dariak, when you upgrade them. I think we're taking one of these two. I I kind of feel like Earthquake Tower is a net negative for us because it's going to clump up enemies, which is going to mean that... I mean, I guess it slows stuff down. It's just really hard to make Earthquake Towers work. And Decimate Towers, at least they're shooting things. But that's the problem is, is that slowing the enemy uh, high cal isn't always good. That's the that's the issue that I see with it. I'm going to take Decimate Tower in this case, I think. And then... So Thunder is AoE, but it divides its total damage among all the enemies that are stacked up. So it's not AoE in the traditional sense, which means that Thunder Tower is doing the same amount of damage per attack regardless. And so if you clump up a bunch of enemies, you're going to see a bunch of really small numbers coming from Thunder Tower. So it's slightly different. Uh, energy storage system. 100% critical hit. Not attacking for five seconds. Everybody's attacking a lot. Cover three health points for the fire source when passing a level, but limit your preparation time. No. Golden Roulette seems too risky. I'm looking for an ice enabler, but we may not find it. The The run is getting close to the end here, I fear. Okay, we have 140 to spend, though. So there are potentials. Um, oh, Debug Encyclopedia is not the same as Tome of the Endless. Good, good call. Um... That 20 is okay, but I think we have to be very judicious about what we choose. Very, very picky, that is. Weak spot radar with Earthquake Tower now could be good. Because Earthquake gives us a stun. Which means that we can get a lot of crits out of it, potentially. Uh, I kind of want to buy these two. Uh, we might want one more relic, though. Let's let's do one more reroll. Just to see. Flash freeze device could be like a save our bacon type of scenario. And I'll grab that. All right. So the question becomes... We go the, to the altar and go directly to the boss. One more piece doesn't really change anything for me. I think we're on to the boss, which is scary. Oh, man. Sacrifice 5 HP for balanced circuit. We do it in a heartbeat. I didn't know that second sacrifice runes were going to do other things. Balanced circuit is insanely good for us. Would have been nice if we could have healed, but making our towers cheaper is... Uh, extremely good for business. All right. We have lost on this boss once before doing this challenge. So let's, let's hope that we don't do it again.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So the Crimson need Lizards need a little bit of help. I want to put I want to put a lightning tower here cuz we can set it on highest HP and it will shred this boss very quickly. But the fact that we can't build it right off the cuff is a bit of a bummer. So I'm going to do oh, that's actually oops, right off the bat. Yeah, it's done really well for us in the past. So I'm I'm excited for it hopefully to work wonders once again. Am I gonna do this? Is this gonna? All right. We're gonna do this and we're gonna hope that that's enough. The Crimson Lizards take a decent amount of damage from the towers on the way by, so. Well, maybe they do. All right. Uh, how much? How much are you guys hitting for? One. Okay. So yeah. So we'll. This is gonna be a little bad, I think. All right. Well, there goes our there goes our tower. But that's that's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. Is all I have to say on that front. Every little bit I can get on this tower, I think, is worth is worth it. Okay. All right, that's all we can afford. No, don't. That just destroyed my lightning tower. I think we just lost the game. I forgot that we can't take any damage on the way in. Damn. All right. Should have overloaded sooner to make sure that we got rid of the wolves. That was a huge mistake. Oh, man. Rough. Why can't I play? I can't place this because he's in the way? Are you serious right now? Okay, that's exciting. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. He's going to move early on. But... My greed may get the best of us. I did not... Yeah, I didn't see that one coming either, uh, Techno. Okay, that one's not as buff, but we're going to do that. And then I'm going to start spending some of these tiles. Just trying to make our maze a little better. All right, what we need... We need this to go overcharge early and take out the stuff that might threaten the... Fine with that. If this doesn't kill these guys, we're, we're done. Uh, I think we're done. Damn! Oh, these are only doing one, so we might stand a chance. They're just big. Now we're dead. Man, this is the second time we made it to the boss and died, but... Ah, well, okay, we're not technically dead, but we did lose our... We did lose that. Okay. 
Okay, well... We gotta kinda hope that we get... They're marching right through. I don't think we got it. Yep. Man, good run. Good run. We tried. Yeah. Man. I don't know. We... Oh, man. Good, good run, but... We got the Sacrificial Pact. We didn't quite get it there. We had him at half. Yeah, we could have done it. Man, the Demon Flame on this final night is really brutal. Uh, all right, well. We we tried. We tried. We'll come back to this challenge again in the future. But I think we're going to try... We're going to try a different run now. Uh, mix things up a little bit. Uh, we're going to pick an element and do a mono damage run with a particular element. Uh, and I haven't decided which one we want to go with yet. So if anyone has any preferences, uh, give it a shout out. I'm I'm all ears. Like poison could be interesting. Let's look at the we can look at the compendium when we go in. Yes, let's do that. All right. We have